Good morning. Let's warm up. Hands at our waist, turn our neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Airplane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Touch toes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful, kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Heisman, parallel feet, opening up our stance. Cross and hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Short one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, golden cockerel. Shift your weight up. Center and cock that other hand. Down. Shift your weight up. Tuck your butt. Down. Shift weight center up. Down. Shift weight up. Down. One more set. Center up. Down. Shift weight center up. Tuck. Right hand on the outside. Right foot coming up. Out in line, down, left hand, left foot, up, kick out, down, up, and out, down, up, and out. One more set, shift weight, up, and out. And down, up, and out, and down. Holding our ball in a T stance, root down, L stance, bow stance. Sit back, twist step, T stance, L stance, bow stance. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball in the T stance, root down, L stance, bow stance. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball in the T stance, out and to the side, bow stance. Sit back, twist step, T stance. So now we'll do um, Tai Chi walk. Good posture, good Tai Chi posture. Okay, doing the uh, width of the room, length of the room. Here we go. Out, align your hips and waist. Heel, shift your weight, bow stance. Sit back, twist step, shift your weight. Heel, open the knees, rotate, stretch out that back knee. Sit back. Twist step, shift your weight, heel, open the knees, rotate, bow stance. Sit back, twist step, shift your weight, L stance, energy up and across, bow stance. Sit back, out, shift your weight, heel, rotate, stretch. Sit back out shift your weight as you're doing this remember that if there's any one animal that you're trying to mimic it is a cat so a cat when it walks not only goes very much in detail using all its muscle but it's using all its footing and all of its body unlike other animals. So it is as if you're doing a catwalk. Sit back, out. Make sure you have your Tai Chi glance. Tai Chi's quiet smile. Your head is erect. And you're doing this as you do your Tai Chi walk. You're thinking about your Dantian, focusing on there and knowing everything that you're doing to make your movements flow. Not skipping, not rushing, but very systematically doing your movements. So not 
As we do this, we're building strength and stamina. We're also reinforcing good alignment, at the same time gaining more strength. In the process, learning about our body and what we're doing when we make our movements. As you know, Tai Chi Walk is the foundations upon which all of Tai Chi is based on. If learned well, when you put your hands together, things should flow more smoothly. So we're going to do five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Remembering that when we do our 16 or 10 or 24, it's always something that can be applied to any of the yang forms. But Tai Chi posture. Commencing form. Shift your weight. Open. Rotate. Up. Make yourself small. Part the wild horse's mane. One. Two. Half step, hold your ball. Spin it to the right, sit back. Up, set. Drop your front foot, bicep your body, look back, up, brush your knee. Sit back, out, right hand higher, look at it, ear, heel, and face, brush your knee. Sit back, out, fist the right hand, deflect to the right, bring it in. Then parry and punch. Touch, open your fingers, sit back, up and forward. Twist heel, twist heel. Look at the backhand pocket. Out and to the side, single whip. Half step. Sit back on your back foot, rock your front foot. Play your loot. Drop your front foot center and hold in. Lift, ear, toe, heel. Give it to the middle. Repulsing of the monkey. Open, lift, ear, toe, heel. Give it to the middle. Pulsing of the monkey. Give it your front foot. Parallel it on your other foot. Heel out, hold your ball, out, maiden shuttles on her left. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, out, heel, maiden shuttles on her right. Back foot down, set up the top hand, needle to the bottom of the seat. One hand, two hands, and your foot. Left hand to the back, right hand. Flash arms like a fan. Sit back, twist step, cup, cloud hands. Middle, flip knee, close. One, middle, open flip knee. Flip knee, two, close. 
Old Jabal out of cheeky stats. Ward off. Flippin' me. Grasp the bird's tail. Turn, square contact, push. Separate. Sit back. Up and forward. Sit back. Twist step. Left hand on the bottom. Hold your ball. Out and to the side. Pour it off. Flip the meat. Grasp the bird's tail. Look back. Turn, square contact, push. Separate. Sit back. Up and forward. Roll back and forward. Parent closing. Twist step. Open step. In step. Off the ground to a cross hands. Pressure from your right. Rotate on your wrists. Pressure from your left to push out. Separate. Drop your shoulders. Closing form by making yourself small. Wrap around. Heel up. Off the ground. Closing form. Let's um, practice how do we get into our... Um, uh, White crane spreads its wings. First we start with a T stance. We're going to part the wild horse's mane two times as a refresher. So what do I mean when I root down? Is this rooting down? No. This is rooting down. The weighted foot, which is the back foot, which is the right foot, has to take a dip down by flexing the knee and the weight is all on that back. So can I have you hold your ball, then weight root down energy comes up from that right leg and across as you come out and you part the wild horse's mane. Do it with me. Do it with me. T-stance. Out and to the side. Part the wild horse's mane. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball for balance. Out and to the side. Bow stance. That's two. Half step as you form your ball. As you spin your ball, you're going to then sit on your back foot. The left hand comes up as your toe is on your toe, up off the ground, and you're going to sit. Okay, so let's practice that. This time I'm going to ask you to push back this way and we're going to come forward this way. Okay? All right. So. All right, this is the last, the last uh, parting of the wild horse's mane. Can you get this form for me? So the front hand should be about eye level, as if it were serving a snack. Left hand to the side of your hip. Back foot, the knee is straight out rather than buckled. Okay, this is it. Last parting of the wild horse's mane. Half step forward, hold your ball. Spin your ball to the right as you sit back on your back foot. Keep it to your thigh, bring it up, down, and set. Okay, one more time. Going to keep on practicing until we get all the components in. Part the wild horse's mane. Half step forward, hold your ball. Spin your ball to the right as you rock your front foot, lift it off, and set. Okay. Wild horse's mane last time. Slowly, half step, hold your ball. Spin it to the right as you sit back. Draw up your left hand, rock the front foot, sit. Now let's look at how we're sitting. Is your left hand higher than your forehead? Is your baby finger able to slice an imaginary line through the edge of your shoulder? Is your right hand sitting to the side of your thigh as if it were holding a top of a ball? Is your weight on the back or left foot? That's where it should be. Okay, one more time trying to get all the components. Part the wild horse's mane last time. Half step forward on your toe holding your ball. As you spin your ball to the right, you sit back on your back foot. Rock your front foot up and set. One more time and then I'm going to look at you, okay? 
part the wild horse's mane. Half step, spin, up, rock, sit. Okay? Do it as if I'm not there. Half, last parting of the wild horse's mane. Half step, hold your ball, spin it, lift up your foot, set. One more time, last parting of the wild horse's mane. Half step, hold your ball, spin it to the right, lift up the foot, lift up the hand, lift up the foot, set. One more time. Last parting of the wild horse's mane. Okay, hang on, I didn't say anything. Last wild parting of the wild horse's mane. Half step, hold your ball, spin it to the left, right, lift up the hand, lift up the foot, set. Then you ask yourself, is your baby finger able to slice through the shoulder? Is your right hand sitting to the side of your thigh as if it were holding a ball? Is your weight on the back foot? Is your butt tucked under? Okay, so your baby finger has to slice through your shoulder. So that's the way it is. Your baby finger has to slice through the shoulder. A little higher, Jan Janice. See this baby finger just says so this little thing. Let's see, Phyllis. Okay. A little higher. A little higher. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then weight on the back. Good. Yeah. No, this is baby finger has to be able to slice through there. Okay, good. All right. So your turn to watch. Okay. This is my last parting of the wild horse's mane. So this hand, the serving hand, has to come up a little higher. But in general, this is what I notice. It's down here. You need to come up higher eye level. Half step, hold your ball. Do you see that my half step only means that my back foot is on its toe? When I start to spin the ball, I sit back. And what happens as this hand comes up, this foot comes up. Okay, watch again. Last parting, half step, hold my ball, spin it, sit back, put it on its toe. When this is up and my weight is on the back, this foot will naturally come up and then you're gonna sit this way. Okay, so you saw my hand went this way because my baby finger needs to slice across the shoulder can't slice across the shoulder if it's out here. Turn it this way to make it slice. Okay, so what did I say? I said, after the last, after the last parting of the wild horse's mane, I stretch out my back knee, I set myself up by doing a half step. Half step only means holding my ball on my toe. You hold your ball on your toe because there's not enough balance, but bringing the energy closer to you helps you with balance. As you spin to the right, you sit back, you rock the front foot, and you sit. Okay? All those little intricacies need to be paid attention to it, okay? You need to pay attention. So I'll let you try it three more times. Push back and let's try it again. All right? Three more times and then we're moving on. The last parting of the wild horse's mane. Make sure that that front hand is up eye level. Half step as you form your ball. As you sit back, you spin your ball. You rock your front foot on its toe and off the ground and set. Okay? We set two times. Last parting of the wild horse's mane. Half step. As you form your ball, spin it to the right as you rock your front foot. Up, set. Okay, and when you set now, 
you come down because your weight is on the back foot. You don't want to sit and still be up high with lots of weight on your toe. You want to sit back because then it'll help you with your brush knee. Okay, the next movement, which is um, uh, brush knee. Okay, so this time we'll take it forward. We'll take it this way first, and then we'll come back and see what we need to polish. Okay, so let's start with um, parting the wild horse's mane out and to the side. One, sit back, shift your weight, hold your ball, heel, two, looking at your front hand to see whether it's at eye level, half step, hold your ball, spin it to the right as you sit back, draw that other hand up, rock the front foot on its toe. When you bisect, you're going to drop your front foot and you're going to bisect. You're going to look at your left hand that's going to be higher. You're going to bring it to your ear and set out your heel and turn your face and multitask, making sure that front hand is eye level again. Sit back, twist step, right hand higher this time, ear, heel, hand, face, brush your knee, making sure that left hand is way down, way on the side of your thigh, right hand, eye level. Sit back. Twist step, fist the right hand, deflect to the right, swerve, and then parry and punch. I'm going to let that go for now. Touch, open your fingers, roll back, roll forward. I want you to twist on the heel of your back foot twist on the back of your other foot, your front foot, shift your weight to the back, hook your hand, bring that hand closer to your face, T stance, then out. So this to me is a good example of multitasking. So <clears throat> stand where you are, look where I'm, look at me. Okay? So what I tried to teach you was this. <clears throat> I'm going to start from the beginning just so I can find my place. One, two, half step, rotate, up, rock, set, bisect, dropping your front foot, look back, out, one, sit back, out, two, sit back, out, fist, deflect, parry, and punch. Touch, touch, open your fingers, roll forward. Now, weight is in the front to alleviate the back twist, but do you see that it's a little awkward and a little hard? So, you're going to move your hands. You're not going to leave your hands there. You're going to help your hands twist, twist, shift your weight, hook, T stance, out, L. So the challenge is you're going to have to roll forward. With this rolling forward, this weight has, your front foot has most of its weight so that you can twist this way. But you notice that as I twist this way, the natural thing is to make your hands move, twist this way, hook because you're going to put your weight on the back foot, T, and then come out. Okay, so all those little elements need to be fit it, fitted in to um, make it not just beautiful, but to help you for safety. Okay, any questions before we try it? Okay, let's try it. We're on a roll, roll forward, push forward. Your weight is on the, not on the back, not entirely on the back. You're going to twist on the heel, twist on the other heel, shift your weight, hook, T, out, L. Okay, so what I just um, experienced was that when I'm teaching it and I'm saying twist on the back foot, twist on the front foot, that um, 
interval is too long, but to teach it well, I have to teach, make sure that you understand it. But if the interval is done correctly, you will have that balance that we're looking for, okay? That just that split one or two seconds. The basics of Tai Chi helps you. You don't move the substantial foot, right? You, you end up having to um, you, you end up having to, to move one foot, shift weight, and then move the other foot. Let's see, we're, we're, we're here. Okay, substantial foot. So you can't move this one. So you move this one. Okay, but now you want to move this one. To make substantial foot, you have to shift here. And then you do this. It's a very subtle shifting, short shift. See, from here, substantial. So you're not, you shouldn't be able to do this unless you come back and do this. So, but you're here already. So that's when you shift this, you, you shift this way, okay? But now you transfer your weight to the right. So this becomes a substantial foot. And this, the other foot can then turn. What essentially is happening is that um, when you, basically what you're doing is when your weight of your foot is diminished or there is nothing on that weighted on that foot then you can twist but once you twist you put plant down that foot so you allow the other foot to be weightless so that it could twist okay so what did I just say I said once okay Elsie can you move back a little bit? move back a little bit. so thank you so when you push forward, your weight is mainly in your front, allowing my back foot to twist, my front foot to twist. But in the process, we said that we can twist this because there's hardly any weight. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. Twist, and then I plant to allow my front to twist. So it's a pretty quick um, shifting of weight. And then you're using your hands you're using your hands to help you to stabilize and plant down to come out, okay? So I think you see this, the details in it. You go for the bigger picture. Once you get the bigger picture, then you make sure you fine-tune that movement. All right. So we're going to do the 24, 10, and 16. Sorry. So in each case, what you're learning about white crane, what you're learning about in this, whatever movements you're learning about in the 16, you can apply surely to the 24, because that's where it all comes from, okay? Okay, good Tai Chi posture.